So, just when I thought monsoon season was over, uh, Mother Nature uh, decided to have uh, um, a different uh, opinion about the matter. I'm out here in Paris, California, in a very late season monsoon setup where we have a cutoff low that is parked uh, along the uh, Southern California and uh, Mexico bo uh, international border. And what it's doing is it's uh, drawing up moisture from uh, Sonora, Mexico, and it has been uh, triggering some thunderstorms in the area. So um, I got a really nice one. I'll try to see if you can get to see it, but got a really nice one out over here. And uh, I'm gonna be tracking these cells uh, just to the south of me right now. So looking south toward Temecula, it looks like I got a cluster of thunderstorms out there that I'm gonna be tracking. I'm actually gonna be getting uh, on the freeway. I'm gonna be heading south toward that direction. So uh, come follow me and let's, uh, let's see what we can get. Okay, so I was on my way to Temecula, but I decided to, um, to pull over and um, take a look at things. Um, Right over here, just north of me, um, there's some cumulus that's forming that's in a very uh, favorable area for storm development. Um, the Elsinore Convergence Zone uh, stretches across this area, and typically what happens is that we, we do get uh, some very, very, very decent uh, storm development in this area. Um, so I, I think what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm gonna hang out here for uh, for a little bit. I'm going to watch the skies. Uh, there has been some uh, dirt devils that have been spinning up and this area is actually pretty well known for uh, for land spout formation. Um, you get these uh, dirt devils that form underneath uh, towering up drafts and uh, there'll be some pulling and stretching up into the cloud base and then you get a land spout. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. The, uh, uh, the bases are quite high uh, right now. Um, uh, so somewhere probably around 8,000 8, to 10,000 feet. That's, that's relatively high, but um, it's not impossible for a land spout to, uh, to stretch up that high and, uh, and, 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 and get something. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit and watch things and uh, we'll see what happens. This area right here to the west of me is uh, showing a, a bit of potential. It's in the early stages of development right now, um, but it is worth looking at because the Elsinore Convergence Zone um, actually, um, you know, crosses crosses that exact spot where the, you know where these uh, this where this cumulus is forming. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Out over here, toward my east, toward Hemet, um, looks like a cell is ramping up pretty good. Um, it's got some real uh, dark-looking uh, bases on it right now. I'm in a good position for that because the flow right now is uh, from east to west. And this is due east of me. So I'm in the line of its track. So uh, I'll be keeping an eye on that as well. Uh, looks like some vertical growth is starting to, starting to happen. So that's gonna be really, really interesting. I might, um, I might, start working my way back west all right I'm gonna reposition to a more favorable viewing spot where I don't have as many obstructions as I have right now I have actually a really good view uh, from my west my north and to my east but um, my south I've got um, got a water treatments want to get away from this and uh, get a better unobstructive viewing area. So out over here is a severe thunderstorm um, about southeast of Temecula. Now I'm refraining from heading out there because it's what we what we call a sucker storm. And they're the ones that when you're sitting in a location in a target zone and you're, you're waiting for a storm to form and you see these guys out there and you basically become a sucker and head out toward it. By the time you get there, it dies out. And right where you were, a storm forms. I'm 
trying to avoid that. So I'm resisting temptation to head out in that direction, even though that on radar, it's looking really good. But um, no, nah. gonna hold my ground. This, uh, this spot is, I know, I know it. The minute I leave, this place is gonna explode. of storm chasing there's a new area of development in south of me um, trying to decide what I'm gonna do because if I get myself if I head back to Elsinore and I get myself in a position west of that it should, be, um, it should be right in line for when it when it when it finally goes ballistic. Um, because it's showing some cumulus congestus, a line of it, from west to east. Matter of fact, that area right there is not looking too bad either. Uh, you know, so very possible this could be the spot. That could be the area, the zone. Um, I'm a little bit too far north of it. Um, if, if this had been night there'd been a lot of lightning on it that would have been a great position but um... okay I've been keeping an eye on this and um, I've decided that I'm going to relocate I'm going to get uh, west of that it's moving from left to right which is east to west so I'm going to get west of that there, there's a there's a spot um, that I typically use out in that area and uh, I'm gonna head over there and, and see what happens. actually looking pretty impressive uh, some interesting structure right out in front of me a little bit out that way as well wow there's some incredible structure underneath the base of the storm looks like we got an actual wall cloud So I've relocated to uh, Wildemar, and I'm watching the um, watching the line of storms uh, approach me. This is the, the leading edge of the cell, which is kind of on the border of Murrieta and and Wildemar. And I'm looking uh, kind of west southwest. Uh, out in this area over here, uh, there's a lot of lightning that's uh, flashing over there. So I'm going to be setting up my uh, camera and hopefully getting some video of that. lightning right there and pretty dramatic lightning too well we've got some pretty pretty dramatic skies that are um, that are forming uh, right overhead and I'm right in line of it. I'm just waiting for this stuff to just come, come right at me. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty dramatic here very soon. It's actually tracking, um, tracking just slow enough that I can sit here and uh, just kind of watch it and just watch how everything is just, just, just forming and shifting and twisting. So, and I don't mean twisting in a literal sense, but uh, hopefully maybe a lance bout. <laughs> That'll be the real twist. Wow. 
This is pretty dramatic. So, I'm actually parked in the parking lot of the Inland Valley uh, Hospital, and the only reason why I'm here is because it's a fairly unobstructed view, even though I've got a building in front of me there, but um, I'm just tired of driving around trying to find a, an open area um, that was in good position for this stuff to move straight at me. So this is where I'm at, this is where I'm gonna stay. Man, that's pretty dramatic. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gonna reposition. Um, there's a there's another cell over Menifee that's coming, and uh, I'm gonna move north to uh, to uh, Lake Elsinore and get into position for that cell as it uh, approaches. Well, I've decided to call the chase for today. Um, doesn't look like there's much of anything that's going to happen, um, at least not anything dramatic. So I'm just going to call it for, call for today and check things out and maybe see if uh, from home, try to see if there's anything that's going to develop again that's worth going out. Uh, pretty much, uh, this was a local chase, uh, very close to home. Um, I try to target the usual uh, the usual areas that I do. Um, took a little while for things to get going. I was hesitant to hit stuff that was already going uh, in favor of waiting for stuff that might get going. Um, so it, it ended up being a, a bit challenging. Um, I'm, I'm not all that, that completely happy with how the day turned out. Um, I was hoping for a, uh, you know, a bit more lightning. I was hoping for a bit more, um, well, I was gonna say flooding, but uh, I, you know, I, I don't always you know, wish flooding um, in, in the in the negative sense, but uh, um, was hoping to see something dramatic. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll you know we'll check it out for later and see if there's anything more. So for now, um, that's it. So I had been uh, quite busy this afternoon with the storms that I had had uh, didn't notice uh, until now that uh, the SBC had issued a marginal risk for my area uh, from noon today. Uh, through noon tomorrow. Um, it is now 4.17 p.m. So we're four hours into the marginal risk. So uh, I'm going to keep an eye on things to see if uh, um, we might get some um, new storm development maybe later. I did notice on radar that there is something that is uh, uh, forming down in San Diego County again, um, down in the mountains over there. Uh, the Potentially with that low that's um, that's spinning down by uh, Yuma uh, that we might get some wraparound moisture and things will start firing up again maybe sometime overnight so I'll just keep an eye on it I just wanted to also show you this uh, crazy uh, radar image over Yuma uh, showing um, the uh, uh, the cluster of thunderstorms that are down there now I just wanted to point out that I use composite radar because we have a lot of mountain ranges out here that uh, uh, make it very difficult to get accurate uh, uh, base reflectivity um, data. Uh, depending on the situation, if, if I'm looking at storms that's out over the ocean, I, I, can, generally, uh, I can generally watch stuff at using those products, uh, base reflectivity and, and a lot of the, uh, the low tilt type stuff. But uh, when out in the desert and out and around the mountains and out in the inland areas, it's just almost impossible to get good 
uh, good data that way uh, using those products. So I just for just for um, um, being able to see stuff, I I stick with composite uh, just so I can see where stuff is. All right, well, I am going to call this uh, video an end. In the meantime, keeping an eye on a, a line of stuff out there. Um, a little convergence boundary out there got a, some cumulus that's trying to form along it uh it's it's you know it's good for a nice uh, sunset uh shot right now but uh, pretty much the day is over um it's forecasted that tomorrow will be very similar to today uh we're gonna have to look at the high res models uh for tomorrow and see how how they're shaping up but uh, at least for today this video is done the chase is done and um I'm going to call it a day. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.